In 2009, a study of the effects of genetically modified foods conducted by the International Journal of Biological Sciences, researchers found that agricultural giant Monsanto's genetically modified corn has been linked to organ damage in rats. Monsanto actually collected their own crude data after managing a 90-day study that determined that this corn was safe for consumption. However, chronic problems cannot be found within 90 days. And as a result of the increasing data, it's, po it's biologically plausible for genetically modified foods to cause adverse health um, effects in humans. And for this reason, the consumption of these products is a concern for the health of consumers. So today I will be presenting um, my argument on, on why the labeling of genetically modified um, organisms should be man mandated in the U.S. Okay, so genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, are also known as genetically engineered foods. And a genetically engineered food is a plant or meat product that has had its um, DNA artificially altered in some way by taking the genes from other plants or animals and bacteria um, to produce these foreign compounds in that food. Okay, so the history of um, GMOs starts with um, the, a similar conference in 1975 which um, were which these group guidelines were created for the safe um, use of genetically engineered um, DNA. In 1980, the Supreme Court allowed the first patent on the um, on the first living organism, which was a bacteria that um, had an appetite for crude oil. And um, in 1997, the European Union ruled in favor of mandatory labeling of all genetically engineered foods. And um, in 2011, the Center for Food Safety filed a legal petition with the FDA to require labeling of all um, food produced using genetic engineering. Okay, so we eat foods, we eat um, GMO foods and we don't even know it. Um, millions of cons um, consumers continue to purchase unlabeled genetically engineered foods and um, the, the FDA has not tested the safety of these GMOs for the use, um, for the safety of consumption on humans. Um, so consumers unknowingly ingest these foods and they have um, no idea that they could po pose serious health risks such as toxicology, allergy, and immune function, and adverse effects um, to reproductive and genetic health. Okay, so today there are 64 countries that require GMO labeling, which includes um, the European Union, Japan, Australia, Brazil, Russia, and China. And in spite of this, the U.S. still does not require labeling. Okay, so consumers have a right to know if their foods are genetically engineered. And um, this is Barbara Boxer, who is a U.S. Senator, and she introduced the Right to Know Act that requires mandatory labeling of all genetic uh, engineered foods. She said, Americans have the right to know what is in the foods they eat so they can make the best choices for their families. And right now, more than 90% of Americans support the right to know what is in the foods that they feed their families. Okay, and citizens should be able to make informed decisions about the foods they choose to buy. Peter DeFazio, who is a U.S. representative, introduced the bill that would require the FDA to label all genetically en engineered foods along with Barbara Fox. He said, when American families purchase foods, they deserve to know if that food was genetically engineered in a laboratory. Okay, and the fact that the FDA does not require mandatory labeling is contentious. Um, Co um, ben and Cohen and Jerry Greenfield, who are the co-founders of Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream, are um, strong advocates of the right to know labeling movement. And they said, being honest with your customers is the foundation of good business. Companies ought to be proud of the ingredients they use and the products they sell, and they ought to be happy to disclose what's in those products. Okay, so opponents claim that genetically engineered foods pose no um, health safety risks. Um, these include large chemical corporations such as Monsanto that sell increasing amounts of uh, herbicides, pesticides, and genetically modified plants and animals. Um, they fear that labeling will elicit customers to ask questions about whether GMOs are safe and um, the damages that they cause to our environment. So the rebuttal is Gary Hirschberg, who is the chairman of Just Label It. He argues that the failure of our government to mandate the labeling of genetically engineered foods is a breach of responsibility. 
And he said, we don't need to be labeling because they're proven to be safe or unsafe, but rather because we're introducing new bacteria, new genetic material, new proteins that have never been in these foods. Okay, and so since there have not been any reliable studies proving the safety of consumption on GMOs, um, labeling is necessary. Um, although opponents claim that labeling genetically engineered foods is unnecessary because customers can look for organic products, GMO-free and organic are not the same. And labeling of genetically engineered foods is imperative to provide customers with accurate information. And the use of GMOs has actually led to higher pesticide use and no significant improvement in crop yield, water requirements, flavor, or nutrition. Therefore, the labeling of G um, GMOs should be mandated in the Thank you.